MIUI 10.3.1.0 stable update just popped up yesterday and uh, I sure wasn't expecting it but yeah I am very happy we have got it because I just made a video reviewing the Redmi Note 7 Pro and it had a lot of bugs which I am so happy to tell you have been addressed to at least and you would love this um, update. So let's just dive into the what's new section here and uh, let me tell you it's not the casual what's new section from Xiaomi, it's something that you would want to see. Firstly they have updated Android security patch level to June so let me just uh, go ahead. Yeah uh, you can see it's uh, June 1 and uh, 2019 it's super convenient, it's super awesome. We've got it finally and uh, I am liking that Xiaomi is updating the security level because that's important. Also the lock screen has received some updates. I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, and the media volume that bug that was present on the 10.3.9 update which got suspended has been fixed. Uh, what that bug was if you don't know is basically if you got a notification the media volume would just go like low and uh, I don't like you had to reboot to get that back so yeah it was a big problem also the MI cloud has been updated and uh, that's good uh, it has improved the syncing uh, lag it it updates your information like instantaneously uh, in real time that's good news let me get back to that lock screen and security thing so you have to go into lock screen and passwords advanced settings and lock screen format so you get these three one one two and three I would prefer this one you could go any of them like all of these are good and um, I just love them okay let's now again go back to our about phone and um, system updates yeah if I lock it and you can see the new lock screen thing and uh, okay the next thing which I would like to address is that the touch lag in 10.3.9 has been fixed uh, I know that update got suspended but still many of you were on that update and it was like bizarre touching on the phone just made other things pop out and it it appeared that there was some uh, hardware problem but no it was the software that fixed it and it's super smooth it's it doesn't lag and I'm uh, very happy about it I've, okay themes app has been updated which is basically like uh, if you are not signed into my account you can download the themes and install them to a device which is good and you can see the overall the touch lag is zero the ads are still there but I can't help it no one can if you want to flash a custom ROM just do that and get rid of the ads but yeah they're still there also now let's go into the camera thing because that's what you guys came from so I just click the random picture uh, from 48 megapixel yeah just see this is super clear and it got saved pretty soon you don't get a camera lag like be between clicking and actually getting saved so that's pretty new and pretty good what I would like to go and search again yeah you saw that lag yeah there is still that camera interface lag but let's go about the video so I recorded a video okay the app crashed as you saw So yeah that was 60 fps no problems but yeah some people have still that problem and uh, I don't know how they have gone about it but it appears that some devices have been fixed the video problem video lag problem but some devices haven't been fixed I don't know what's the criteria of that but that is sure there also I did face like very less lag in a uh, camera anyways some people did face devastating lags so I think it's not me I checked other videos other reviewers videos especially the tech star Shahrukh if you understand Hindi just go ahead check his review too and yeah he recorded a video and it was laggy it was pretty buggy so I would say that it's the video part is still on fixing and uh, I would I would stay optimistic and hope that it gets fixed before the K20 is here because once the K20 is here they won't look at 
our device which is the Redmi Note 7 Pro and uh, they would give fixes for the K20 it's not the Poco F, Poco F1 it's uh, the Redmi anyways so I hope they fix it for everyone before the 30th of July which is like release date and purchasing of uh, K20 so if they do I'm going to upload a video and you would know it because you've subscribed to me oh so you haven't just go ahead and subscribe dude it's it's free and uh, it's awesome you would get frequent updates from me on Redmi Note 7 Pro or Poco F1 which is by the way recording the video yeah also like this video and encourage me because your one like can make my day and I'll be super happy super hyped to make another video also another video on the Poco F1 stock ROM is coming up so if anyone was going to comment please don't don't bother I'm going to upload it soon so this was it from my side I would super hope Xiaomi fixes everything they have been doing a great job when it comes to the Redmi Note 7 Pro because it they didn't do a great job when it came to the Redmi Note 5 Pro which I had to sell and buy the Poco F1 by the way so that's it just share it share this video to all of your friends and family if they are owning the Redmi Note 7 Pro they will be uh, like super thankful to you and me both so that's it from me guys and also on a side note if you haven't updated your uh, Redmi Note 7 Pro to this version just go ahead it has no bugs I can guarantee it is like much better than 10.3.9 and it is not going to be suspended so MIUI 10.3.10.0 gets a total of 9 stars out of 10 that's my review of the MIUI the latest one for the Redmi Note 7 Pro that's it from my side guys bye bye and stay techy and stay safe